Hi, friends. Welcome to Enlightened World Network. Dr. Ruth Anderson here for a meditation a day. Today, we are so fortunate to have Sue Broom as our guest meditator. So love working with Sue. I'm going to let her share out for just a minute. But one of the things that Sue and I do every month is we come on and we do a show called Messages from Your Loved Ones. And it's a beautiful time of connecting in with the folks in our community who want to hear a message, a thought from somebody that they have loved and lost. So we do that on the second Monday of every month, except for April, we're doing it on the second Tuesday. And, <laughs> yep. um, it's just a beautiful time and we've made some really lovely connections with folks. So Sue, I'm so glad that you do those shows with me. And then you're also doing the meditations twice a month. So, Sue, thank you for being here. No, oh, thank you for having me. I, I think the the messages from your loved ones, I, I think you and I, Ruth, we have such a uh, a nice blend that we bring together. And I think so many people get, get um, reassured besides getting messages, but I think they get reassured, I think is, that's the word that's coming to mind. So I think that's, that's a big thing. Yeah, it, it really, truly is a special time. And if you're curious about what it's like, you can go to YouTube, Enlightened World Network, and then in the search, type in messages from your loved ones. Mm -hmm. There's a great deal of information about the transition process, um, mm -hmm. as well as connecting in with folks. So please do check that mm -hmm. out. Yep. yep. All right, Sue, are you ready for our meditation today? I am. Okay, <laughs> I'll get out of your way here. <laughs> oh, all right, everybody. So I grabbed a couple of crystals. I have two little hearts today. But I felt like I needed one in each hand. <sighs> so everyone... Get comfortable in your chairs or if you're lying down. And just take a couple of deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Not trying to force anything. Just allow yourself a nice in-breath. and a release. And if you wanna close your eyes, go ahead and close your eyes. You might notice your body getting a little readjusted, getting more comfortable wherever you are. And with each breath, you might feel light coming in. And with each exhale, you might feel stresses going out. And if you don't, that's okay. They might be very subtle. And some of you might even have a shudder as you're exhaling. Just allow, we're not trying to force anything. Just allowing yourself in this moment in time to be more in your body, to be more in tune with your body, as well as feeling the connection that you have with divine spirit, with God, divine mother, your angels. With each breath, you can feel the connection strengthen. You're breathing in love and light.
and exhaling. Things that no longer serve you. Some of you may even start coughing as you are releasing with your exhale. That's okay. Just let it out. So as you're getting more and more comfortable, not trying to force your breath, I want you to imagine that you are reaching for the stars, reaching for the stars and beyond. Reaching in a way, some of you might want to stretch your body a little bit, your physical body, if that's something that you are called to do. Do so. Some of you might be stretching your imagination a little bit. Maybe there's something you are thinking about in a creative way and it shifts and changes into something more, something beyond. Some of you might feel much freer than you did. Maybe you notice your body releasing even more. It's almost as if there's magic in the stars and beyond. There's a freedom. So just allow yourself for a moment to stretch beyond whatever that means for you. As you're reaching beyond the stars, notice, are they in shapes? Are they single lights of, of bright light? Like a single star? Is there an energy that you can feel in a single star versus a shape. Just take a moment to notice. And as you're noticing, let's say that you're noticing a, a single star. You can feel an energy. Is it a love? Is it compassion? Is it wisdom? Is there an answer that you've been searching for? Do you notice it in your body somewhere? As you're noticing the single star, just notice what it feels like as you breathe in, as well as your exhale. Is there a special connection you might feel with this star?
Does it have a name it's offering you? Now move on to a shape, whatever shape you are seeing. And the same thing. Does it have a message for you? What do you notice in your body? Is there an expansion you feel? Is there something, maybe you had a pain in your body that's no longer there. Maybe there's an extra release of air that you've been holding in your lungs, in your body. Or maybe there's a deeper breath to take in. Is there any wisdom, any message that this shape is sharing with you? Now as you're looking across the sky, it appears very dark other than the stars. I want you to look down at yourself and notice the bright light that you are. You see the stars as, as bright and energy. Might feel them as the love. The stars also feel this from you. And looking upon yourself, are you a single bright light? Or are you a shape? And what energy are you emanating? What energy would you like to be emanating? Allow yourself to connect with the stars and beyond. Maybe there's new formations you are making as your bright light and as theirs. Do you find yourself in one spot? Or are you moving about? Take a couple of deep breaths in, feeling the connection of all of the stars, whether they're single stars or different shapes.
Feel the connection you have with all of them. And if it's too much all at once, go back to focusing on just one, whether it's a single star or a shape of stars. Notice the energy that they are sharing with you that you are sharing with them. Feel it as you breathe in, taking it into your body, into your mind, into your heart. If there's any dis-ease in your body, just notice as this energy is moving through you. You might feel an expansion of your heart, an expansion of your chakras, You might notice new chakras being opened, connecting to the stars and beyond. Bring in this loving, healing energy into your body, into your bones, into your blood, into your aura, into your mental mind. Thank the stars for the connection, for the love that they share with us. And you might feel their gratitude and appreciation for your light as well, for your love as you gaze upon them. Thank all of the stars And slowly start coming back into your body. You might notice your body slowly coming back, moving your hands and your feet. You might notice a cracking in your ankles, in your wrists, allowing the energy to just expel, allowing the love that has come in to settle even more. I'm taking a couple more deep breaths, slowly starting to feel your body Feel the chair that you're sitting in. Moving your head from side to side, stretching your neck a little bit. Arching your back, moving your arms. Coming all the way back into your body. 
Thanking all of the stars and beyond. Thanking all the love. And thanking yourself for taking the time to be more of your light. Take another deep breath and open your eyes if you haven't already. And come back, come back, come back. I don't want to. <laughs> it was easy to stay there, truly. I know, it's like, no, no, I don't want to come back. <laughs> that was very cool. And I love that you never have any idea where these are going. <clears throat> so it's fun to be with you as it's rolling out to you. Uh, well, what was fun for me when you started, I looking at the stars, I, I was seeing geometric shapes. Mm -hmm. And then I heard the words, wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay so I did wait for it and um, one of them in particular caught my eye it was kind of like a square but not exactly and it was a it was a opening mm. so I you know of course went through the opening and I turned around and I'm looking out through this opening and what I saw was that it was one of the stars on Orion's belt, mm. the, the top star on his belt. And I, so I was looking out through it and I saw me as a child, um, our, the way that our house was across the street and like up half a block was the church that we attended. And I would go to, you know, the different group, the youth groups and all that stuff. Well, it would be dark a lot when I would come out. And it was a little freaky, although it was a very <laughs> safe neighborhood. And I would look up at Orion and focus on Orion as I was running home because I was nervous being out there. And mm -hmm. so what they showed me was from, you know, Orion height, looking down at me, doing that jaunt home, connecting into Orion. And the words that I heard were, you've always been watched. Mm -hmm. You've always been safe. Um, you are one of us. Mm -hmm. You have a job to do. You have a purpose. And I asked, am I living that purpose? And I heard, yes. That's very cool. So it was very cool and very unexpected. <laughs> but wait for it. <laughs> They're very funny. Well, and, and really, as you're explaining it, it's like it's a portal into, you know, and yes, into your past, but it's a beautiful explanation in so many ways. It's like, and as a child, it's like having the, the word I'm hearing is wherewithal, which is not even a word that I, ha I think I've ever used in my life, but to look up and, and know that on some level, you're focusing on that star for, to make it home safe to, and so there was some connection that was that you already had way back way back when you were just a, a youngster yeah intriguing mm -hmm. intriguing what did you notice anything from your meditation I, I you know the thing that really surprised me is when it's like okay now look down at yourself and I'm like what <laughs> that I I totally was not expecting like, um, what I felt is that it, it doesn't, 
it doesn't make sense to my conscious mind to look at a star and think that there's love and healing and compassion and even a connection to a star and that some people might connect with this star and with that one and not with that one. That was was really interesting and that they would have like a message for us and and healing for us. So there was, it, I it just, I don't know why any of this ever surprises me because it's always like, well, of course, everything in the universe. Yeah. But that's, I think it was more of an aha for me that it's like, of course, there, there is, there's love and compassion and, um, and even with your connection to the star in Orion's belt, it's like, oh, yeah, different people have different connections where, oh, it's always I look to the sky and I can always see whatever star is out there or that one's always twinkling at me. So I know everything's everything's right. And I I I look at the stars, but I can't see there's not a lot of stars you can see here in Sun City. It's too bright, but they're there. And I think that's why it's like reach for the stars and beyond. It's like, well, what's beyond? It's like, well, uh, more stars, <laughs> you, you know, more stars. <laughs> but I think there's, I think there's more than just the stars. Well, and everything is energy. So mm -hmm. including the stars. So it makes yeah. sense that there's an energetic connection to some of those. And you're right. As far as you're attracted to some stars and others, there's no connection. Because I asked, okay, so, you know, where's the star? And I saw Orion's belt. And I got the top one. And then I went, well, am I connected to the one in the middle? It's like, nope. <laughs> it's like, you're right. I'm not. Okay, it's the top one. It's just mm -hmm. interesting. And different people are going to see different shapes because they might see a single star. Some might see like Orion's belt. There's a shape that's there. Or some people might see the star as a shape. Which you don't think of a star as a shape. But you never know if you're look like eyeball to eyeball with the star. You never know <laughs> what kind of shape that might be. <laughs> yeah. There's, you know, honestly, Sue, there's just so much we don't know. There is. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Sue, if folks want to work with you one-on-one, -on -one, what might they expect and how would they reach you besides www.super? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, yeah, every, every session or reading is different, just as every single meditation is. Because it depends on where the person is and where they're ready to go or what they're ready to step into. So, but it is, it's the love that you feel after doing a meditation like this is really the love that I think after a session, it's like there's a, there's a, um, a lightness a love and a lightness, but it's because you've realized more of yourself. And it truly shifts your perspective and it just helps you to get back into the world and see things from a different viewpoint. So friends, I can truly vouch for Sue Broom as a one-on-one -on -one counselor coach. She's awesome. So please check her out. So Sue, anything else before we say goodbye today? No, thank you. I, I just so appreciate just these, you know, it, it doesn't take very long for you to be so far out there and get so much, so much for yourself, for your self love and self healing. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. And friends, thank you for being here at Enlightened World Network. So glad that you're open to exploring all of these things that we can learn about ourselves and energy and the world that we're living in. So take good care. God bless. We'll see you all soon. Bye now.